What's up guys? Today I'm going to be reviewing another root beer from my home state. And this time we're going to be going to the capital, Oklahoma City. So, editor, cue intro. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Brock and I review root beers. So you can call me Root Beer Brock. So a few weeks ago, I reviewed a root beer from Edmond, Oklahoma called Oklahoma Root Beer uh, or Oklahoma Soda Company Root Beer. And today we're going to be reviewing another soda company that has a root beer from my home state, which is now from the capital Oklahoma City. So this soda is OKC Soda Company. And so they got a root beer and I found it in the same location that I found the Oklahoma root beer. So I went ahead and picked it up. I never heard of it before and I am so excited to try it with y'all. So something cool about OKC Soda Company is they mark to like bring you back to your childhood with their sodas. And so let me just run through their sodas real quick just like I did Oklahoma. So first up on this list, uh, OKC Soda Company has a lemon lime. And so I have not tried any of these drinks uh, from them. So, But I'm happy that I now know about this soda company in my home state. So hopefully I am able to try them in the future. So this lemon lime is probably like a Sprite, if I were to imagine. Moving on, we got the strawberry shortcake, which... Uh, I'm not really a strawberry shortcake guy. Um, I I love strawberries by themselves, but not much of a shortcake guy. So I don't know if that one would actually, wait a minute. I just realized. So it says strawberry shortcake right there. But if you look on the can, it says strawberry milkshake. Now, I might have to give that a try if it's strawberry milkshake, because I do love strawberry milkshakes. All right, so moving on, we got a blueberry acai. It's cotton candy vibe, and it's got blueberry in it. Um, I don't know if if that would quite be my thing. A lot of these, like, fruity sodas, I'm not too big on. Now, Cherry Limeade, no, I, I would probably like that one. I, I like Cherry Limeade quite a bit and then here we are the root beer i actually love that they got the dream catcher in here like the uh oklahoma uh peace symbol that you that we have on our oklahoma flag i absolutely love that that's in there but yeah this uh root beer has madagascar vanilla in it which sounds pretty interesting and so i'm very excited about this root beer and this is interesting this last statement right here says, Welcome to the future of root beer. Kind of implying that maybe we're in a new age of root beer. So maybe this is like a new gen drink. Like, I'm, I'm excited to try it. And then also we got orange cream. Once again, I'm not a fan of the fruity drinks. So I probably wouldn't like this one very well. But anyways, uh... I am very excited to get into this root beer, so without further ado, let's break out the glass. Alright, so I got the can, and here is the glass mug, of course. And so these uh, cans look a little different than uh, what was on the website. I'm not too sure what that's about. Um, maybe you could find the regular cans in... Uh, Oklahoma City area, but I, I am farther north of Oklahoma, so um, I'm not too sure what that's about, but but here we are right here, OKC Soda Company, and but yeah, the label is it's just a chrome can, and then the label is just stuck on there, but anyways, I'm excited to try this, so let's go ahead and give it a crack open, nice little pop open. Now, I know Oklahomans 
like their root beer and know how to make their root beer. So I am, I have high expectations, especially because uh, uh, Oklahoma set high expectations. So man, that, that has an interesting color to it. It's, it's a lot lighter than most root beers, I notice. Hmm. So, it's an interesting smell. But anyways, here we go. OKC. OKC Soda Company. Root beer. Going in. No. That's sad. That's really sad. That that's a mm. let me just shut up and drink again. No. Uh uh. No, I have no idea what they are trying to do with this root beer, but it, it's not working. It's not working. They, they said it has vanilla in there. And then at the same time, they, they aimed it to like have a lot of spice in it from what I'm tasting here. So it has like the, the spice of like Barks root beer. Um, and it kind of tastes similar to Barks, but it's it's awful. I'm just going to put it that way. I, I do not like this root beer. It is drinkable. I, I think it's uh, drinkable like Zevia. However, Zevia had a little bit of an excuse because it was aiming to be a healthy root beer. This, no excuse. Wow. I can't believe this. I'm really sad. It, 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 it doesn't really give root beer justice. And I, I'm really shocked to be seeing this out of an Oklahoma drink. Because Oklahoma, they brought it. They gave everything they had and they they put their heart and soul into that root beer and they made a dang good root beer but this we got on the opposite end of the spectrum unfortunately i i'm really upset about this um but yeah okc soda company right here Yeah. So like something that I've mentioned time and time again on this channel that I don't like in a root beer when it has that like grandpa's old cologne taste to it or like the way it smells, you know, like, you know what I'm getting at. Even, even that attempt fails here. Like, it, it tastes like that, but it's, like, really watered down. It's 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 not the best root beer ever. It's not. I'm, I'd honestly say this is one of the worst root beers I ever had. And I, and I really hate to be that way because this is... This is a root beer I was really excited to try. It was from my home state. It uh, it said on its website that it is the future of root beer. Now, if this is the future of root beer, root beer Brock is scared. But it's not the future of root beer. 
Let me tell you that right now. Because Ruby or Brock is going to change the future. I am the future! Anyways. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I need to calm down. Bad root beer gets me angry. But yeah, I think it's time to rate this root beer. And let me tell you, I am very disappointed. Once again, I'm going to quote my hero. And and this time, it's, it's darn truth. Like, Mug wasn't too bad. I mean, it, it had something there. But this right here, my disappointment is immeasurable. Extremely, extremely immeasurable. And, well, I'm actually recording this in the evening. So my evening is ruined. Now I have to go to sleep in a few hours. And all I have to think about is this root beer. It's it's a shame. And I'm I'm really upset because this is from my home state. I really went into this expecting to love it and expecting to be like, oh yeah, Oklahoma's the best. They know how to make the, all the root beers in the whole world and all that. But uh, Oklahoma's still a great state. The best. I love it. Please, come travel Oklahoma if you haven't been here. But, um... Just don't pick up this root beer if you do come. Uh, I'm sorry, it's it's bad. I'm I'm sure. I I do like uh, the new generation and marketing that OKC Soda Company kind of aims for. Like they they're kind of aiming for the new gen. They they got a lot of bright colors and uh, just like flashy stuff on their website and their Instagram like they're trying to get to the newer audience but anyways it's it's just it's just disappointing is what it is it's I think I'm gonna give this a two out of ten yeah I went there I didn't think I'd ever go there but I did Zevia a healthy root beer was better than this and it really upsets me. It really upsets me. But anyways, I, I think that's it. I think that's the video. So here we go. Let's go in for the final sip. So as I go in for the final sip, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, you watched me through the enjoyments of root beer and even the pain of root beer. And I thank you guys so much for being here week in and week out, enjoying me, doing my thing. And I deeply appreciate all of you. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And go ahead and like this video. And turn on those notification bells. And also please just share this video. Here we go. A dreadful final sip. And with that, I'd like to say, good job. Let's go home. You thirsty partner?